Okay, okay, let's make sure this shit's actually gonna start up. Before I start doing stuff and being funky and fresh. Okay, good. We is, uh, we is doing stuff. How are you guys doing? I have not done jack fucking or shit on this file since the last time we played it. So there's that. However, this time, we, uh, we want to go back up like we're going to this train station up here. Hey, Tolfin. My muted buddy. Oh, that's some damage. Also, today I have sunflower seeds. Because I'm going to try and get rid of that horrible habit that I have that uh, we've seen the last couple streams. So there's that. Ooh, two little saucers. I don't know what I'd do about two little saucers. But for my muted friend, sunflower seeds. I gotta say, Toffin, you're missing out on half of the mother experience by being muted. Just a damn good game. The soundtrack, fucking phenomenal. But yeah, we uh, got a couple of goals that I think if we do them right and in the right order, we should be able to beat the game the next time we stream it. So we got that going for us. For now, though, we gotta make it to the desert and ride across it on Apollo with no name, or an Anna with no name. If she's an Anna or Apollo, she clearly has a name breach. You're just being an asshole for the sake of the joke. You got me. You got me. Got to go down one more. And we're about to step into much stronger monster territory. I need to mute that because I just got Chris's message about, uh, I did a test run because I'm working with a new camera that he sent me. And... I was doing uh, I was doing some voices, testing them out for potentially Dragon Conquest. Okay, come on, I get it. You leveled up. It's not that exciting. Now the enemies here are gonna suck. The Drunkle is back, and so apparently are these Gabalons. I don't know where they went, but. Yep, Drunkle Breach is back and in high def. Hopefully these things don't just, like, kill the shit out of us. Hmm. Continuous attack. I don't like that at all. I do not like that. Not one bit. And I know that that, uh, that noise whenever, whenever, uh, Dio uses his plasma beam is kind of obnoxious, but it's also kind of necessary right now. Otherwise, I'm going to be wasting MP running, or PP, wasting my PP running from everything. Okay, so we want to get into another battle. Ooh, Ultra Barbot. One of these guys fucking explodes whenever you kill him, so we're just gonna run. Ooh. 
Well, then we picked the wrong fucking game. If you're wanting me to not get murdered at it. Because that's kind of what this game is, is it murders you and makes it look like it was your idea. Yeah. One of those enemies explodes on death, and unlike Mother 1, there's like no real way to avoid it. However, there is an oasis here. During the last war, I laid mines in the desert. I removed all but one of them, so watch your step. Yeah, I'll take a ride on your plane. The airfare is $45 for that flight. Save your ticket, stubs. After you get 10 stubs, you can take the tank. You look so happy about that. Ha ha ha! Yeah, dude, thanks again for sending that. So directly up a long ass way. One of these flight plans shows us where the next song is. So it's kind of why I want to take it. Also, since you guys missed my uh, miming for coffin, some flower seeds tonight. Which are not the best idea, but it's better than the alternative, at least for me. So, we'll see how long I can make this stick. Yep. Flight plan C sure is exciting. I think it's flight plan A, where you get to see the, uh, the cactus in question. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a flight. Oh, the it's just getting sticky. Oh, you want to ride on the plane? Yes. Which flight plan would you like? Let's go B this time. Let's see where he's going to take us this time. Save your ticket, stubs. After you get ten stubs, you can take the tank. And you don't have to control this at all. You just autopilots it. Which is awesome. Because you get to see the entirety of the world map, basically. I have it turned down so I can't hear the music as well. I uh, just I wanted to experiment with one thing at a time tonight. So between lighting and camera, I was already pushing my limits. We, uh, we may get to that stretch goal faster than I anticipated, by the way. Like, I outlined it at the beginning, but our stretch goal is to get Teddy, and then from there... I mean, we have to stop to grind Teddy. So. Okay, well. That was a wonderful flight. I don't know what you're hunting, which part of that. I just dropped a whole lot of information at once. So you're going to have to let me know which part you did not understand or that I did not enunciate. Okay. So that's the cactus. Which means before we get our 10th ticket stub on the next flight, we're going to walk a little bit west and then north to go find this cactus. Oh, I mean that I got the quality at a good spot and didn't want to fuck with my speakers being up to where I could hear it. Because I didn't want to have that many things going on at once trying new. So I can't hear the music. I can hear the battle theme just because it's louder, but... Fairly certain it's the Ultra Barbot that likes to explode on death. I have fun dip. What's uh, what's got you? What's got you all happy? 
What you got going on? How's it going tonight, buddy? Gabalon! Oh, you... We only got room enough for one more ticket stub. Oh, I was just saying that I can't... I can't hear the track. I wasn't tangenting on anything. I was just saying that I... I can't hear the track that you were saying that you liked. Oh, the... Jurassic World Evolution, the, uh... The Sim Jurassic Park one. Because that looked really cool, but I didn't think it looked like 60 bucks cool. Okay, we got another song. Woo! Go songs! Song hype. Nope, not goods. Let's make sure everyone stays alive long enough to get to the damn tank. Okay. Oh, you want to ride on the plane? Yes. Which flight plan do you like? Flight plan A, because it's cheap. And so am I. Yep. We're going to take the tank here in a second, because you can't get any encounters in the tank. And we're not going to go deal with the monkeys, if you guys know this game. It's optional. I don't care about the monkeys. They don't do anything for me. Me fly around just flying like a bunch of jackasses this is still alive isn't it okay good good every once in a while the computer likes to blip and not make it look like I'm live no no Evie's for a toy the tank is just to get across the desert One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Motherfucker, I got all the fucking ticket stubs I need. No. Let's see, which flight plan? No, I don't want a flight plan. I want your motherfucking tank. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna walk across the desert like a bunch of bitches. Because we don't get a tank. If you take the tank, you get an optional boss, and it's cool. Oh, did Dio's plasma beam, like, run out of fucking shit that it could do? Or did it get overwritten by fucking... I'm confused, but I'm not happy. I didn't think that that could run out of shit. I can't get the tank, motherfucker. I'm try I tried. He didn't want to give his tank. He just said, no, that's my tank, and you can go fuck off. So now we have to go to Youngtown on our own. And figure out why they don't have any parents. A bunch of damn orphans there. And, uh... Leia, let's have you let's have you heal yourself a little bit. Now you can defend. Dude, would you quit spitting the sticky substance? It's fucking obnoxious. Nasty ass bastard. That's a big HP up right there. 
Ricky getting dim gains. Yeah, if we still want to run from this fight. As long as you guys don't kill Dio. I'm not happy about that right there. That was the game giving me a fuck you. Like, that was straight up a fuck you from the game. Please be down here where I think you are. Nope! Nope, that's bad. That's real, real bad. I need to look at fucking... a map. Real quick. Okay, come on, load up map. Okay, good. Good, I, uh... I am going in the right direction, it appears. Should be a train station right up here. And there's no adults around. So let's just go... to the other side of it and go south. Because we went to the wrong spot. I think this might be yes. Okay, so the game just didn't want me to get in there. And the little kids think that Paula is their or Anna is their mother. Because little kids are dumb. This is really the takeaway that you should have from this game, is that little kids are dumb. For as often as you try and stop them from actively eating the dog's turds, they shouldn't be as picky of eaters as they are. One of these houses, though, might be this one. Yes! We just learned PSI Teleport. Which means we can actually get around places now. So. Let's, uh... Let's drop these ticket stubs. that aren't worth a damn thing, because I'm not going to get the tank now, because the game wouldn't give it to me.
get rid of Paula or yeah, get rid of hers too. I know this is just thrilling to watch right now. You know what I bet happened? I bet because we had 12 tickets that the game didn't register that we had 10 tickets because we didn't have 10 tickets. We had 12. No worries, Justin. I'm just doing some cleaning too. Cleaning out of inventory, that is. This is not where I want to be. I want to be in this house? Yes. Well, you can actually get that ocarina and all it does is let you play all the melodies. You don't need it for anything. This house will bring people back to life. Next one will give you, uh, give you some Twitch chat to eat. And make you stay the night. And then refill all your shit. And then... I want to find a good, nice, open place before we do PSI Teleport to get back to Youngtown. Because you have to be able to run and make high-pitched noises the whole time. Really obnoxious, I know. Now, let's kill that map. All it's doing is taking up valuable space. Who's sending me shit? Oh yay, some bot. Oh, we're uh, we're in the swamp, which means we need to be fucking careful as fuck. Because we can run into these, the Titan knees. Let's see. What's same? Yeah, yeah, see. Everything will do a lot of damage. Everything will uh, not take a lot of damage. Hey, what's scratching? And I'm not afraid to use some, uh, some... I'm not afraid to use some pee-pee. Because we're gonna have a heal spot midway through. Please don't have a bar bot with you. Okay, cool. I can fox with this. Where's my... There we go. Right, Sigma that does... Oh, I guess Beta does everyone, too. There we go. That's still... That still weirds me out. Who is this motherfucker? I don't know. Some bot. So what are you guys doing tonight? How are how are you all doing? Also, fun dip. If you're still listening, bud, how is uh how is that Jurassic Park game? Because like I was I was curious about it, but like I said, it it looked a little pricier for what it is. But if 
If you say it's worth it, I'm going to take your word for it. Hey, Alex, how's it going tonight, bud? How you doing? No, not, not telepathy, motherfucker. You don't need to read the mind of the fucking grass or some shit. Well, it's still technically Pride Month, so you can use them. Ooh, Red Snack. Red Snacks are the experience pinatas of this game. But this was before RPG developers knew what experience pinatas needed to be. <laughs> okay, we're gonna not have you smash attack Dio for death this time. Okay, we are almost to the safe house, which is a good thing. You like that one? I can't remember where I heard that term first, but it's basically whatever game in the RPG. You smack around a bunch until they just give you a bunch of experience. They explode into it like a confetti. Okay, this actually is not near as bad as I remember this area of the game being. I remember this like just absent. Dude, quit shoving your nose into the carpet. You're making me concerned. Like, I vacuumed today and you're still making me concerned. Don't eat my bag, nerd. I'm really concerned about which one of you fuckers explodes on death. Because I'd like to, I'd like to kill you to make it easier to run. There we go. We're just gonna do the guaranteed run. That's a really obnoxious noise. I am sorry, headphone users. It hurts me as much as it hurts you. This is gonna hurt me more than you. Probably. It's me, Pippi! We met once more, Ricky! Don't say anything, but I didn't tell my mom I came here. Oh, I looked away to read chat and she was just going on and now we're gonna stay the night with Pippi Longstockings. There's a video about that on the internet somewhere, but we're not gonna go into that. Good morning. So, yeah. This is a good spot to grind. I am Diamant's father. I think Ricky's dad asked. But you told him your name. Yes. Let me register your name once more. It was not A. It's Bretch. It is the Bretch. I am the Bretch in the night. Poor Dio. No respect. Okay, so we're fully healed. And this is where this area turns into kind of a clusterfuck. Because it's a maze. And it sucks. Hmm. Leia, girl, you need to lay off by getting your ass kicked. That's not a good look. And then, what we're going to do is we're gonna go try and snag Teddy and then bring him back here to uh, get his levels up and we'll have the free house to stay at here so this is where we're probably gonna be grinding for 
a long damn time today. Well, depending on what his experience growth looks like, we may even go get uh, the next song. So, down we go. A mook! Not like a 60s term for a beloved goofball. I think brain shock is like a paralysis attack. Smash! Oh, get out of the... Get out of the murky water. You goofball. Oh, hey, Kelly! Um... Yeah. Yeah, Kelly's not a... Kelly's smiling, but she's not our friend. And I'm thinking I'm going in the wrong direction, but we shall see. We're going to try the run away from everything strats. Which is a bold strategy, really. These guys are worth a good chunk of experience, but damn it, do they hurt. And right now, we're more concerned with just staying alive and getting to, uh, getting to the next town. Like, as long as I can get the, uh, the teleport point to get to the next town, I'm happy. These guys should be weak to uh, ice. So let's see if we can, uh, yeah, 46, that's not bad. Do I have offense up on her? No. No, I don't. Let's see if Paula can take out, or Leia can take out B on her own. This round should kill him. I don't know why I'm bothering. To let you guys pretend like you're gonna attack that for one damage, but you know, more power to you, I guess. Ah, uh, not healing life up, damn it. That was wasted PP. Mmm. Not good. Not good. the next bridge is probably the one we need to go to. But yes, I, uh, since it's been quiet for a minute, I agree with Justin. Celebrate the pride all times of year. 
I should really make that a permanent global emote. I'm actually surprised that it wasn't. Hmm. Seagulls that look oddly like poorly done McDonald's arches. I mean, isn't that, like, the goal, though? Like, sure, have a month to make people aware of something, but, like, shouldn't the idea of it be kind of a year-round thing anyways? That, that just makes sense. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm a jackass for thinking that. Maybe not, but... Like, yeah, it's cool and all that we focus on this for the one month, but what about those other 11 months? We should have, like, the same kind of attention spread out there, too. Otherwise, it's like, hey, you guys are cool for one month, but, you know, fuck you guys come July. I don't know. The mentality... The mentality of making something like that special for one month. Like, introduce it and highlight it in the month of focus on and attention on it, but don't, like, fucking take it away after... That is what I'm saying, if my words are getting mixed in between themselves, because I'm not good at wordsing sometimes. Not amused at these one-step encounters, either. I'm trying to smash the spider. But apparently, it has other plans. Fuck. That's not good. Um... We don't have PK fire for whatever reason. Why the hell don't we have fire? I swear to God, if you cry for help too, I'm gonna be pissed. That's cool. I'm fine with Ricky being poisoned. Just die already. I can fix poison. Actually, wait. I need to look at something here. Alright, the way it's angled, I thought that, uh, I thought that Link might be on screen right now. Oh, hey, Twitch chat. I'm glad that me having to refresh everything is what made Twitch chat actually put that message through. Getting people to support legislation is just a pain in the ass anyways. No matter what it's for. Oh! Hello! I didn't see you there, Mr. Starman. Okay, good. That's an instant death move. And I'm glad that he used it on Ricky. Like, he had a 33% chance to hit anybody else with that. And because it was Ricky, it bounced off him and from that Franklin badge. The mooks? Yeah, those things are... 
They look like nasty mop heads. I think it's totally because of the color that they are. Like, they're nasty, they look green, they look poisonous as shit. And I got that goofy-ass grin with three eyes. Okay, we're almost to town. We're close enough to town that I'm going to gamble with Dio's health. Okay, you want to be careful who you talk to here. Because people are like shifty as fuck in this area. And we need to find the department store. There we go. Hold on just a second. I I gotta grab something. This the sunflower seeds were a great idea, but it's not working. Gotta teach myself how to game without doing this before. Before too much longer. Ooh, berry tofu. It's a strawberry tofu. And it shows back up in Mother 3. But absent from Earthbound for whatever reason. Okay, so we need to go get some cash to buy a ticket. Which I wasn't sure how much it was. Okay, what can I sell you? Ticket! Yay! Do you want anything else? No. Thank you very much. Please visit us again. I love how my stretch goal for tonight was to get Teddy. And I've done that, like, within an hour of starting up the stream. Okay, there is, a like, a dance club here somewhere that we have to go to. It's in one of the bigger buildings. Is it a lookout tower? No, it's in town. Like, there's a bar that we're supposed to go to here. Where, uh, where Teddy is. Definitely don't want to go to Mount a Toy next. Because that'll just lead to sadness for all of us. So this place with the burger? No, this is just a burger place. I bet it's this place with a sign. Nope, that's jail. Yeah, universities are a lot more chillaxed. Live house. Tickets, please. You must have a ticket to get in. So, goods. Use the ticket. Hope you enjoy yourself. So, we go back. Talk to this lady. This is my dressing room. Please get out. Okay. Talk to you. Don't peek in the back room. You'll catch it for sure. What is it? What am I going to catch? You want to sing too? Yes. 
This is the trigger and also how they would catch pirated copies of the game. Because this part would not load well on pirated copies. However, until very recently in America, this was the that was the only way you could play this game. Yeah, and college atmospheres are a different place altogether. Like, I went to undergrad in rural-ass Missouri. And a lot of the people were super tolerant. Some of the people were not. I actually went into college not being super very tolerant myself, but I met a bunch of people who helped me open my eyes and accept people for what they were, rather than what I thought they should be. So, whenever I get defensive of people saying that mindsets can change, I know it because it's happened. That's why I'm always willing to talk to people even if they have the most deplorable viewpoints because I think that you can change a mind and a heart. Whereas if you cut off communication, that person's going to stay the same until someone gives them a chance. And I'd rather be the vehicle for change in that regard. That's just me. And soapbox gone. Thank you for your nice song. By the way, you guys beat up on my friends? No. I know you did it. Who's the boss? I'll teach him a lesson. Okay. BB's boss draws near. How about that? I... Oh, he only wants to fight Ricky. And I can only use the fight command. So this is scripted and it's not going to last very long. Ha <laughs> ha you're quite a guy. Your name is Ricky. Let's call it a draw it in, huh? I seek vengeance for my parents. To the mountains! Yes. I'm sure we'll make a good thing. Let's get going. You there, the one with the glasses. You're not so good at fighting, are you? Rest here while I go borrow your goods, okay? And it transfers Lloyd's inventory to Teddy. So now we have Teddy. And, well, Z-Wolf. And he's going to start off at level 18, which is actually a lot better. You can get the fuck out of the way is what you can do for me. Okay, so... You guys know the drill. We're going to go over here to the cash deposit. Use our cash card. Withdraw. 2800 Which is not going to get him quite everything that we want, but it's going to be able to get him the defensive items. So. Back to Magic Ant. And let's, let's go ahead and... Wait, no, you don't do what I want you to do. You do. You do the full party healing. Oh, Traveler, why don't you enjoy a meal at our house? Well, today's special. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's Twitch chat! Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I didn't come from so much of a churchy background as, uh, as much as just highly conservative. What are you staring at? Oh, I've already... I've read this a bunch of times. I'm, I'm not going to read it again. Uh, let's get that magic coin. Yes, I mean that magic coin. Fuck, I don't... Oh, I do have enough money to go get the other thing. Good. Good, good. Magic coin and the gold ring. I'm not going to worry about a pendant for, uh, for Z-Wolf just yet. And we're going to go into Magic Ant's cave to get his sword. Because he equips goddamn swords.
Okay. Now, Z Wolf, or Teddy, is really fucking strong already. So, that's good. We're gonna go get him a weapon to make that even stronger. Which is why we didn't pick up any of the chests in Magicant Cave earlier. Because one of them is his second strongest item in the game. Yeah. Crazy. And he's fast. Which is good. He's like Jimmy John's. Ricky opened a present. There was a PSI stone. Ricky got the PSI stone. I'll probably give that to... Let's give that to Leia for now. I don't think we're going to need it, but we might use it later on. You don't have a treasure chest near you. Just lay down, little shit. You're on top of the blanket that you're trying to burrow under. My dog's not very smart a lot of the time. He's asleep now. Or at least very now he's licking his foot. This is the sword. Sword! Ricky got sword! Let's give that to, uh... Let's give that to Zack. Oh, he, he can be a smart boy. Like, he knows how to manipulate. He can do whatever he needs in that regard. He just an asshole. And then I need to find a good spot to grind Ricky up to level 25 so we can take on the dragon. So if we can do that in the next, like, 45 minutes, we're going to get a lot more progress than I thought we were tonight. And let's get out of here so that we can actually teleport over to L.A. And because Zack is so much stronger than Ricky, we're just going to have him take out the Barbot. Yeah, look at those smash attacks. Oh yeah, the dogs are smart. They're, they're manipulative as fuck. Wait. Oh, 81. I misread my PP as 41, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. Moral of the story, don't misread your PP. Don't run into something, please. Good. Honestly, it'd probably be faster to try and go here from Youngtown. Because I want to go back to that house where we have the free heal. And just kind of run around in circles there. I think that's going to be our best bet. We got a something or other right there. I don't know that I have the alerts on screen just because Chris likes to test them out whenever I'm recording uh, Dragon Conquest. But thank you for... I think that was the follower alert. Yeah, I don't I don't have them on screen unfortunately. Let's see if I can find that here. Oh, I have it turned on. It should be making noise. Or it should be coming across the screen. So I don't know what its problem is. I know what these mooks problem is, and that's that they need to die. This encounter has lasted entirely too long already. 
So I did not see who you were, Shadow Follower, but know that you are appreciated and loved and welcomed. Buffalo! These guys can be kind of rough. But whenever you have someone hitting them as hard as Z-Wolf is hitting them, they're not near as bad. There we go. That is how that's supposed to look. Okay, so we need to be east of the river. Or, not east, west of the river. This could go poorly. This could go really fucking poorly. Come on, game. Get it together. Bet they're both gonna cast darkness now. Oh, no. No darkness? Okay. Well, that's good. We might actually be able to, excuse me, win this in a reasonable period of time. That was a very valuable use of life up, you mook. Come on, game. I get that my goal is to grind, but let me get where I'm going. That did not feel good. Not in the least. Okay, um, I think it's about time that I admit I don't know where I'm at. So let's see if it's these guys that explode. Okay, no, it's the little energy fuckers that walk around with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to heal up and restore our PP. Always restore your PP. And then we're going to teleport to uh, Youngtown and then go at it from that angle because that was a lot easier to get to the, uh, the safe house. Oh, yeah, you definitely explode whenever you die. Big widow. Yeah, Link, uh, I don't know, he just laid down a little bit ago, so you might, you might hear it in a second. Yeah, he a, he a stump, and he a dick. He a stumpy little dick, or a dicky little stump. Because when you kill him, he does, like, hundreds of damage to everyone by just exploding. Youngtown. And I love how they set up their warp targets to where you, uh, don't even really need to worry about them at all, really. Like, they're all on one page. Like, there's just enough towns in the game that they're all on one page. 
We're going to take out this Ultra Barbot because all that the energy dude is going to do is try and heal stuff. And that'll let us run. Or he'll just attack and make me look like an asshole for trying to predict what he was going to do. But he explodes whenever he dies. Oh, Mega Saucers. So I hope you guys like the area music here, because we're about to hear it for two and a half levels on Ricky. So that we can go fight a goddamn dragon. Because for some reason they thought it was a good idea to put an actual level cap in the game somewhere, or an actual level requirement in the game somewhere. Actual goddamn dragon. Could be confused for Charizard. Uh, he's more like a Smaug, because he's asleep right now. I would swear the map I looked at only had one bridge there, but okay. That's cool. Oh, hi, Starman. We want to kill you fucking fast. I mean, we tried to last time. We snuck by him and stole a sword from his lair. He just sleeping away. Not giving a shit. And I'm fairly certain that the level cap for him is 25. And since we have a safe house here that we can get free health refills at. I'm just going to go ahead and grind to that. But yeah, we're going to walk up to him. We're going to whisper sweet nothings in his ear and it's going to wake him up and he'll try and go on a murderous rampage. Can I not get in encounters within so many steps of a safe house? Is that a thing? But yeah, this is uh, this is our life now. Welcome to the rest of our lives. This is uh, this is the point where I try and think up funny shit to say, because we're literally walking around in circles, just killing the same shit over and over. And while we're doing that. start up another fight here while I'm looking because I can look away from it okay just tell me how much experience it takes to get to fucking level fucking whatever Okay, fine. Screw, screw you. Oh well. That's uh, that's what we're gonna do now. And with Z Wolf here, we can actually kill the crocodiles before they do too much damage. I dig it. I silent three two dig it. Hopefully we get a smash attack here. Hey! I wish I was actually manipulating this stuff to make it happen whenever I'm requesting it to happen, but I will take it.
Now I'm going to take this turn to or this little in between to heal up. Unfortunately, because this game is so poorly balanced, you gotta heal up like all the damn time whenever you're in anywhere grinding that's worth a damn. Hey game, where'd your encounter rate go? Like, as soon as I want to fight enemies, it bottoms out. But as soon as I'm just trying to run to a fucking town to be able to warp to it... Oh, have all the encounters. Have some beefalo. Okay, that doesn't help me. Come on, game. Just tell me how many experience points I need to get to fucking 13 or 25. Okay. A lot of progression charge for the stat growth. Not a whole lot of shit for how many experience points it takes to get there. Best I could find is some weird ass mathematical formula. So, we're just gonna kill shit till it happens. Because at this rate, I'm betting I will get there before I find out what the answer is. But it's an exponential curve, so probably going to be something like 20,000 experience points. Go Leia. Your PP increased. Yeah, the the enemy change doesn't, or the, the enemy variety here leaves a bit to be desired, but at the same time, at least we can do it. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of crocodilios, um, a bunch of those mooks. The problem is, they give the best experience, so... It's kind of good that we're running into him, even though it's really not all that exciting. Bison. M. Bison? No, no. That's another game. Here after Mother 1, unless Chris has a change of heart on what he's streaming... I may start working on some uh, some Twilight Princess, just so we can get back to the Zelda Conquest and not have that linger forever. Although with Chris streaming more often, I, I don't know if that's the best option or not. So I will talk to him off screen about it, and one way or another, some way, sometime, you guys are going to start getting some Twilight Princess. Because otherwise, this whole Zelda conquest could just stretch out forever. Okay, I just need none of you guys to put up Alpha. Okay, PK Alpha is okay. But Shield Alpha, not okay. Yeah, it's a very pretty one, though. The only drawback to it is that it takes fucking forever to get going. You know, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, the safe house doesn't really matter. Because we can just Onyx hook back to Magicant and then warp back to L.A.
and it's same or similar enemies up there as it is down here. So. I don't know. The biggest part of the grind is going to be done off screen, so you guys don't even have to worry about that. Because after after today's stream, I'm going to take us to a level that I feel comfortable doing the end of the game at. Which is probably Ricky up to 30. Eh, no, Leia, you're not, you're not beefy enough to not be guarding against these things. But yeah, agreed, it's, it's probably, it's, it's tied with Majora's Mask for being my favorite. But, it, uh, that beginning is so fucking slow, though. Man. Three crocodiles! Ah, ah, ah. Two crocodiles! <laughs> Come on, Leia, get that shield up. We need the shield. Now, because if you were slow in getting the shield up... No! No, don't use the beam. Just heal yourself, girl. Because even defending, they can... nearly take you out. Thank God the shield went up. You know what? Let's use a Psy Beam. Psy Beam Beta. That should be enough to kill a crocodile, right? Yeah! Yeah, die, Crocomire. I mean, crocodile. So many dead reptiles. I almost feel bad. Like, if it wasn't us or them, I'd feel bad. But then you think about it, and it's like, we're killing a goddamn crocodile with a baseball bat and a machete. Which is kind of impressive. Just a bunch of kids out there. Hey, Pippi. Yes, I would like to stay here tonight. Thank you, Pippi. Don't run away from home. And then get lost in a abandoned shack in the swamp. Like something about that doesn't doesn't feel right. Past it. Okay, good. You guys are just approaching slowly. Well, that's a wasted beam. But at least we're down to one croc. Kinda hate hitting the wrong button there and then having to cycle back all the way through the magic. A little obnoxious. You dead now. Good stuff. Okay, Leia's gotten two in the time that Ricky has gotten none. So. He should be due for level 24 any time now. <sighs> Telepathy, get out of the way.
And while this game does have some things that annoy me a little bit, I really do enjoy it. I think it overdoes the grinding just a touch. But overall, I think it is a fun and enjoyable experience. Don't hit Teddy, don't hit Teddy, don't hit Teddy, good. These things can be jerks, so I don't want to take too many precautions with them. They don't really give that great of experience, but at this point, beggars can't really be choosers on what we're fighting. Oh, that felt good. So is anyone out there playing anything good? Playing anything fun lately? The music stopped there for a second while I was adjusting my windows. I recently, like within the last week and a half, played through both Pokemon Platinum and Pokemon White. And I gotta say, I kinda prefer Gens 4 and 5 over Gens 2 and 3. Even though, like, popular opinion suggests that, uh, I should not. How are you still, uh, still the Fire Emblem that you got whenever you were down here? Yeah, I know, Justin, you're gonna be playing Dragon Warrior 7 for, like, the next year and a half. And that's just on the same play file. Like, Gen 4 and 5 I really enjoyed. The only problem that I had with them was that apparently the uh, the card slot in my 3DS is loose, so they ended up freezing. Fortunately, well, unfortunately, that happened, like, right at the end of Platinum and lost me two hours of grinding. And for... I started trying Black, because that's the one that I have, and it froze, like as I'm choosing my Pokemon. So I played it by less scrupulous methods for Pokemon White and just finished that up last night. Sorry, I had to make your boy N cry. And I was not expecting that gets this fight at the end. Hey, that is not wasted time. That is time valuably spent. And then today I started up the uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is anime as fuck, but I'm digging it. Like, the, the game is so much better than the first one, I think. At least for me. Like, the issues the first one had for me, I'm not, I haven't run into at all yet. Which is awesome. Yeah, like, there's... There was a good 20 minute sword fight cutscene that I ran into. And I was like, I'm digging this. With, you know, big anime titty girls and talking cats and all that shit. It was badass. Hey, one more level. One more level! One more level! Oh, also, uh, swords that were primarily made out of light. They were present. Uh, you start on that one, you guard, you finish off by Sine. You didn't finish off by Sine. Mmm, Ricky. 
dude. You uh, you feeling okay, buddy? Finish off bison egg. Okay, so we're gonna have some bison burgers. Today's gonna be tasty. Speaking of which, if you guys haven't had a bison burger out there, fucking delicious. Go down to Fuddruckers or anywhere that you can, or like a butcher shop and get some ground bison and make a burger out of it. Good God, that shit is amazing. And for Alex, um, I think Fuddruckers will also let you wrap your burger in lettuce. Although I am not certain, so call ahead. Don't want to get your hopes up, but might be a viable option. Like, that became way more common whenever, like, all the low-card diet crazes started happening. So there's a lot of places that'll do that for you and make it a gluten-free burger. And then you can pick and choose your veggies however, however you need. Again, this fight, not worth it on the experience, plus that little robot likes to explode. I like not having robots explode in my face. Just kind of a personal preference. Motherfucker, not again. I just got away from y'all. I don't want to have to subject people to this noise. <laughs> well, it's like in a... Uh, that Mike Judge movie, Idiocracy, wherever they warp into the future and everyone's gone stupid, they re they literally renamed the sign to Buttfuckers. Although, I'm going to be honest, if they had the Owl My Balls channel, I'd watch that shit. You may have increased your defense, but will it protect against a smash attack? Find out next time. Or now. Okay, so we're probably going to go for another 25 minutes or so. A little longer if we hit level 25 and the dragon's just taking us that time. <laughs> like the restaurant's designed to make you slip up on the name. Like, I don't, I don't feel bad for them for people doing that in the middle of the store. Ah, oh, super healing, sweet. Leia can revive people now. That's what super healing does. Oh, and we learned healing pie. That's the one that I wanted her to be much higher level because we need that for the end. And now we just need her to get around 150 PP. Oh, you know they did it on purpose. You don't you don't call your restaurant something that sounds like fuckers on accident. Like there's a wing place called Pluckers down here. Not on accident. You're so close. I can feel it. But like I said, I do want to make sure that A, I have enough time to go get a snack before the uh, Pokemon 2 games 1 controller run starts because that shit gonna be lit, yo. Oh, 
another pheasant plucker. Um, you know, it could be a shit show like that, so maybe. I'm gonna be doing red and yellow on the same controller, which, you know, for Punch-Out!, you can logically make sense how that works, but with Pokemon, like, I don't know, that's gonna get fucking interesting. Because you gotta keep track of two separate inventories in your head, inputs at the right time on both, and for yellow, you've got to amend your route. Well, maybe not. But yellow, you do a controller manipulation to get the god Nidoran male. So you can do a Nidoking strat. Because yellow was the one I was trying to learn, and it's not near as friendly on emulator to be able to do that manipulation. Okay, if you guys could calm it down with the, uh, the side beam alpha... That'd be pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, but a TAS is one thing. Like... It's easier to, like, put movements in certain frames that they're not going to get registered in other games on that frame. But doing it humanly, that's the part that, that gives me. Don't get me wrong, that's still fucking nutty. That that's a thing. But with a task, the way they since it's broken down by fucking frame. I, that's just less impressive to me. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I've always thought tasks were less impressive, though, because it's like, give me enough time, I could make a fucking task. Probably in about the same amount of time it would take me to fucking learn how to infinite damage roll in DKC. It's not as simple as taking the game playthrough by playthrough, or frame by frame, saying what input to use, registering how that affects the rest of the game and the RNG. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm simplifying it down, but that's how they register to me. Yes, they're cool to watch, breaking the game to their absolute fucking limit, but at the same time, it's just, it's not the same as seeing a human live do it. Oh, I get that. You have to know the game inside and out. Well, and redos of tasses, I mean, anytime a new trick comes out, you find a way to incorporate it in, just like any other speedrun. Plus, you find one input on one frame that makes it even a tenth of, even a hundredth of a second faster, that's, that's a re-record. That is you, Zach. We, uh, we, we got Teddy. Also, warning, noise, gonna be coming in. Unfortunately, since we named Lloyd as Dio and Teddy as Zach, Zach kicks Dio out of the party to join. 
So, and then vice versa, whenever Dio comes back to us later, because spoilers, he gonna kick Zack out of the party. Also, Zack, you have a badass fucking sword. Because I was smart enough to not open that chest until after we got you. Well, this is going to fucking suck. Um... At least the defense up's going off before they get to attack. Okay, so you attack there. Actually, you attack there. You guard, you attack A. Let's, uh, let's get everyone healed up here. Uh, we didn't really get to, uh... Chris, keep in mind, I can't time you out. Actually, no, forget that I can't time you. I can time you out. I can definitely time you out. <laughs> I just realized the implications of what I was saying. The t-shirt pocket, is that going to be like the episode of Adventure Time where it looked like Jake wasn't in the episode at all? And then right at the end, Marceline asks Finn where he's at. Finn opens up his pocket and Jake's in there and just farts at her. Man, I used to love that show. Apparently it's still going. I don't know how. Because it, it started getting stale after like three seasons. But man, that used to be... I come home from class watch like five episodes of Adventure Time I DVR'd um, partake in some at the time illegal substances You know, that's, that's a lot less intrusive than I thought you were going to go for, Chris. I'm sitting here like, oh god, fuck no, we have, a, we have a wonderful team going, don't ask stupid shit. Whew. Maybe it's because my brain is an idiot. That and I don't know. Internet, you always uh, you always assume the worst is coming. Hey, Leia, you're uh, you're not doing too good right now, girl. Fuck, quit skipping past life up. Life up yourself. Okay, good. Also, three years, damn. 
Congrats. Even if it's just three ish years, congrats. That is awesome. Also, I'm really glad you guys joined when you did, because this grinding session, like grinding in this game at normal speed, kind of takes the life out of me. And these are like, I, I guess we could run into Mount Hitoi just to get Ricky's strongest weapon. But like, none of the enemies give enough experience to make grinding any faster. Mm. Hey, dude, could you, like, fucking not? Yeah, I'm talking to you down there. You're being a chode. I'm gonna start calling you Choda Boy. Okay, I'm going to give Ricky another 15 minutes here to get to level 25. And then once he does, we're going to go kill goddamn, actual goddamn Dragon Smaug. You know, not having a Facebook is a good thing in itself at all. Like, if it weren't for literally all of my Spotify playlists being attached to my Facebook, I would have deleted it, like, a year and a half ago. Well, Zach, I'm glad you do, because you had mentioned it once, but I would have completely fucking forgot your birthday if it hadn't been for Facebook. And I think you were going to let us forget your birthday. Rabble, rabble. Although you did mention birthday pizza and... Ah, yeah, level 25, motherfuckers! Woo! T and B. Hey, Leia gets a level 2. That's cute. You know, that's a... The more of them you have, the more people tend to forget. Unless they get some impetus that reminds them. Yes, I can guess what it is. It's Twitch chat. Yes, I would like to eat some Twitch chat. Like this last year, other than other than in Discord, I had like five people call or text. And four of them I'm related to. Come on. Scratch or no scratching? That is kind of awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not big on the birthday song. I would have done it for you, just because you know, you one of my homies. But, but I'm, I'm not big on the birthday song. Now, I mean, there's shit I'll sing, but I just, I don't like that song. For whatever reason. Feeling Ricky's present, the dragon awoke. You must defeat me to earn my musical note. Show me what you got. 
actual goddamn dragon. Okay, so I'm going to do offense up on Z-Wolf. Size shield on all of us, and you get to attack. We have to fight him, unfortunately. He is a required boss. Um, let's go defense up beta. What What do you got? Might as well use magic. Oh, oh wait, that was, uh, that was Zack that did that to the dragon. I thought he did that to us. I'm like, fuck! Hey, don't lick your dick on the bed while I'm streaming, weird motherfucker. Okay, let's uh, let's go for a defense down. Now that this is going exceptionally well, uh, you guys all have really good health right now. We got our defense up where we want it to be. So yeah, let's just fucking wreck him. I think he only has... Like, not enough HP to really be worth this. No effect. That doesn't even really fucking matter. Because, I mean, yeah, he fucking did. The dragon became quiet. Zack advanced to the next level. Yay! Dragon crooned his tune without much hesitation. The song went something like this. Brrr. I don't know if... I don't think the song request will come through because I don't have that set up on my computer to do it. That's only set up on Chris's and I don't know if he reset it up. Also, with the, with the way Twitch has been handling copyrighted music, I've recommended to Chris that, uh, that we eliminate the song request. Hey, lay down and be peaceful. I'll be done in a second. Just because I don't want Twitch to hand out a 24-hour ban because it content ID'd some bullshit. So let's go back. How, how is our health doing? We're not bad at all. Okay, so... We're close enough to getting back that I'm going to outline what we're gonna do is we get a one-step fucking encounter. Thanks, Lars. Fucking come to tell us about how bad Napster is. We'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Even if it's, like, driving to the viewer's home and giving them a free handsy for the 9.99 sub or something i i don't fucking know we'll figure something out though okay next time on the stream for mother one which will be my next stream we're gonna start in la and we're going to go beat the goddamn game. I'm going to do a fuck ton of grinding off stream so that we don't have to worry about that in the middle of it. And we're just going to go beat the game. Probably take us like an hour, so I'll try and think of a backup for us. Maybe an hour and a half. If it goes an hour and a half, that might be the only thing on. But but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out from there. But we're at a point where it's grind, 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 and... I want everyone to be able to catch the Pokemon 
display of skill. So let me pull this up so I can see my face. Peace and butt grease, friends. Have a good one. Peace.